Hey there, Tiffany here giving you another movie review. So this time I am going to be uh, reviewing the film uh, Snow Falls, uh, directed by uh, Colton Tran. I hope I said that correctly. And this is another uh, film that I found on uh, the Tubi app. So uh, it was, it actually, it, it was one of my, uh, it covered one of my favorite tropes <laughs> in um, the uh, horror and thriller genre. Um, and it also looked like it was kind of like a psychological thriller too, and I enjoy a good psychological thriller, so I decided to check it out. And the, as I did some research on the film, uh, I've, I've also heard other reviewers talk about how it was shot in six days. So I was like, okay, you know, uh, shot in six days. It could either turn out to be really, really good because they work well under pressure, or it might show that it was uh, filmed in six days. Uh, so basically, I mean, I'll give you a synopsis of the movie, then I'll give you my thoughts. Um, so basically, like I said, it's my favorite trope ever since I first saw The Shining with Jack Nicholson, <laughs> um, where a group of friends, um, they go to celebrate New Year's. Um, a member of the group, uh, his family actually um, owns a uh, this very remote, uh, very nice, I will say, to a uh, cabin in the woods. And it's actually, it's more like a, ca like a log cabin house. It's, it's, you know, it's very nice. It's very, um, it has like that kind of rustic, luxurious look to it. So the setting is actually uh, very, you know, it definitely sets the setting. It sets um, the overall tone of what they're going for in the film. And, you know, and of course they, they get there and you know they're you know getting their new year celebrations on and uh just as you know they're actually you know they ring in the new year and just as they're starting to turn in for the night of course that's when they hear on the radio that a big uh storm you know a snowstorm is headed their way and you know and basically and they were like oh we might be stuck here for maybe another day or two and then, though, just as they're starting to uh, turn in for the night, of course, um, the electricity goes out. And that offers um, a whole other slew of complications for them. Now, as the film went on, like from up to that point, I would say the film was actually pretty well done. But after that, um, I, I think that there were, this film had the opportunity to be really good and to really make the most of their location and what they had of their, what, they, what type of resources they had. But I do think, like I said, it was shot in six days and I think that this was a very ambitious project to take on for only six days. Now, I don't know like what their, you know, why it was only shot in six days, uh, whether it was like budget purposes or maybe that was how, how long they had to uh, film, you know, to be able, you know, how long they had to be able to film um, in their location. Um, but like I said, the, the movie, it started out strong and then from there, it just kind of, you know, like flatlined. Um, and like I said, it had some really, it had some really good moments. It had um, some, like I said, it had great opportunity uh, because it, it seemed like uh, they were trying to put in kind of like, like a psychological thriller, but also, okay, maybe what they were experiencing could also be supernatural. And, I, I think there was a, a good opportunity to kind of play with that concept, but for whatever reason, it just, it didn't really work for me. Um, and also they, you know, like I said, like some of the, uh, some of the tropes, like I said, are tropes I really like. And when done well, I think tropes can actually work. Like I said, I, I like the remote cabin during a snowstorm. You can't get out anywhere. Um, you know, but like I said, I think that it could have been done better. Um, 
Well, and the thing about it was that, like, their whole the whole thing was that um, they were going to they were suffer they were going to be trapped in there for you know we don't know how long. They were uh, supposed to be suffering from hypothermia, um, and there's like I said, there's supposed to be this raging snowstorm where. The CGI snow that they were using, it didn't really, like, it, it just showed almost, like, basic snowfall. Um, maybe, like, a moderate to medium uh, snowstorm. Uh, so I thought that, you know, in post-production, maybe they could have, you know, done a little bit more. Maybe got some fake snow and, like, put it up against, you know, the, the doors at least. Or some, done something uh, to just to make it, you know, to make it, like, seem... Like I said, I don't. I almost don't even know what to say about this film <laughs> because you know, on the one hand, like I said, it had some really some good. It, it did have some good moments. It had um, opportunity. Like I said, it had good opportunity to really take the film in a really, really cool, really, really fascinating direction. Um, and I, you know, and I, and I've also even seen some people question whether they would be, you know, really suffering from hyper hypothermia after like just a couple of days, like a day or two. Um, and would the cabin have really run out of heat? Um, and you know, why, why would the family leave? you know, leave their generator empty and not, like, gassed up just in case. You know, especially if it was wintertime. Because that was another thing. Because, oh, when the when the lights went out, they were like, oh, let's just fire up the generator. And then the kid who's, um, whose family owned the cabin, um, he's like, oh, it's empty. They didn't fill it up. And it's just like, why would you not fill up the generator? Just in case of an emergency. especially in, Especially if you're staying up there in the winter when... You, you know, especially if uh, that area that your cabin is in is prone to snowstorms, like, wouldn't you think to keep something? I don't know. It, like I said, I thought the film had some good opportunity. I thought that it had good potential. Um, I thought that, there, I mean, there were some good moments, some cool moments in the film. Um, like a, one in particular is um, when a, one of the characters is... Um, hallucinating and starts to see like the snowman that they built earlier outside and and it seems like the snowman is it's like kind of stalking him and you know and I think that that was one of the moments where they were trying to convey okay we don't know if that's him hallucinating from the hypothermia or if that's actually something supernatural happening um so I thought like I said there there were some kind of cool moments um where I thought they really could have taken it and gone with it um but for some reason it just didn't play out very well <laughs> so you know I I don't like I said I almost don't really know what to say about it like you know sorry but uh but yeah but those are my thoughts that's my reaction to <laughs> snowfalls um let me know what you thought of it if you did you enjoy it did you um you know, did you see like, you know, flaw in it or, or hey, did you just, like I said, did you just enjoy the film? So, all right, but yeah, just uh, let me know in the comments and uh, be sure to uh, subscribe for more. And also I'll leave my music channel in the description as well. But yeah, but I look forward to seeing you in the next video and take care and yes, yeah, see you next time. Bye.